be this week i'm living out my best childhood fantasy i'm feeling like a pink power ranger honey i always wanted to be the pink power ranger let's just get into these readings honey hey girl <laughs> my pink power ranger power is just too much for the singing ball <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading for your zodiac sign, Aries. So if you find anything in this reading that resonates with you, hopefully you do, uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card called out to you the most and how it does, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. Um, and also, if you do find some cards that resonate with you in this tarot reading, Aries, uh, be sure as well to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot channel a lot, Aries, and I always am super appreciative when you guys take the extra time to do that for me and then finally Aries before we get into this reading I just want to say that I believe any tarot reading any tarot cards that you receive should be there to help give some perspective in your life some food for thought but never making a decision for you because it's your life to live not mine not these tarot cards right you have to be the one that lives with the decisions that you end up making so all these cards should be providing to you at least that's the goal for my readings Aries is that they just provide you a perspective to consider as you go throughout your week um Aries. So with all that being said, let me pull your final card, Aries, and then we'll just jump into your reading. How are you doing, by the way, Aries? I ended up, y'all were like my last sign last week that I did before I kind of decided to just like take the rest of the week off. So um, let me know how you guys are doing, Aries. Um, but we'll talk about your objective card for this week, um, the energy that you uh, are going to be working towards and should be exuding and or trying to exude i guess uh and it's the two of wands so aries this is definitely a card of um this is a card of two of wands is this normally comes in aries when there's like uh you're in the kind of like i always use the example of like an individual who has like the world in their hands like a globe and then they are um i'm sorry i just had some coffee Honey, yes, gosh, <laughs> no one asked, but uh, I describe it as like a globe where it's just like you're deciding where it is you want to travel next, right? But with this, Aries, I can't help but believe or feel rather that you guys are already, you're not trying to figure out where it is that you want to go next. You kind of already have an idea. Some of you guys are probably already taking action on it. I am, no, I feel like you guys are already in the midst of um, your journey, I guess we'll say, Aries. Um, so with this two of wands, I see this more so as just like the challenge for you, Aries, this week will be more about um, more about you maintaining this energy, I think, Aries. It's more about you, you guys um, trying to... Uh, keep that uh, state of mind so you can continue going forward because maybe uh, for some of you Aries, you guys recently may have been in this state of mind where it's just like you feel really motivated for like a week or two, right? Or maybe even just, you know, for however long. And then at some point you start burning out. At some point you start um, that willpower, that uh, consistency starts waning, Aries. So that's going to be like the main energy to keep yourself uh essentially just to keep yourself going keep yourself motivated find something find a way to keep yourself motivated this week aries now jumping into this general spread of things first we have the chariot card coming in as the centerfold energy now i like this a lot because this is like it's when it's paired with this in such a way aries this lets me know this being the two of wands um it lets me know because like i was saying i was suspecting that some of you aries already are most of you rather are already in this place of where you are in the midst of your travels now with this chariot card i see forward movement i see rapid forward movement rather i guess we should have a little bit more depth to that um so it's almost like your mindset, you know, I say like this is like the goal, this is the objective that um, you're trying to maintain or obtain, uh, Aries. But I see this kind of like, to me, I see in Aries like the gears are starting to shift in the proper way that they needed to shift, Aries. And what I mean by this is that you guys are finally um, just moving again it's almost just like something's like really motivated you something that's it could be like good things right you could i mean i'm gonna just take it in an optimistic way aries and just say it's like oh maybe you're seeing like the results of something and that's why you're just feeling so motivated aries um but you know with that optimism comes realism and that some of you guys probably have been 
getting the spark of motivation of um, moving on because of this death card coming in for you Aries um this sense of like forward movement because you know death the death card seemingly being dramatic I guess I'm so used to doing tarot now Aries that it's like we're reading the tarot cards I look at them every day so like when I'm just whipping out death honey like I don't even read like I don't acknowledge it from y'all's perspective or where it could seem pretty intimidating <laughs> Um, so with this death card, you guys, this is where the realism, realism comes in, Aries, right? Where it's about, you know, you're, some of you guys are kind of being forced to move. Some of you guys are being forced to have some type of change, forcing you to get back, back on that horse, essentially. Um, Aries, you guys, there's something in, probably has happened that's kind of like, maybe some of you guys have lost a job recently, or something, yeah, like... I don't want to say it's like a loss of a job. Let's see. Let me pull some clarifiers. <clears throat> so let's see. We have the we have the six of cups coming in, the world card, and the king of swords. So with this death card coming in, the clarifiers for this kind of lets me know of a um, <sighs> things clearing up almost. Um, I know I'm like, like I was just speaking in a negative way or like a transitional way, um, Aries, but it's almost like I'm seeing the dynamic of you, um, making amends or just reconnecting or completing a cycle with someone in your life of recently, but I'm not really getting negative, like negativity from it. I just get this as like a, there's some type of release that's happened. And I think that's even what I like. I don't quite remember your reading. I do so many readings, Aries. But um, I feel like in your la last week's reading, we kind of talked about this, where um, there was like the sense of freedom and some type of social uh, connection that we were talking about. So this is what it's seemingly like touching on here. Like we could say this King of Swords is the individual themselves. And I do feel like it's some type of individual. Something just like, I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be. This could just be something that's like they've had from your past um, had from your past or something that you've had a long-standing relationship with could be like a long-standing job um things just starting to like rekindle themselves or like not rekindle themselves but like a cycle completing with this world card now i keep on saying rekindling because again i'm not getting closures with this um in the sense of like no longer connecting with it anymore just based off of your other cards um so aries this is really interesting in that like something that's maybe seemingly had like been weighing on you uh has just now you're finally getting out of this transitional period that so now it's almost like you just feel um your load has just been lightened a lot more like you have more energy to put into other things like this chariot now that you don't have to worry about whatever this situation is talking about airs whether it's with a person or whether with some old um like a job or something um you guys figured something out you guys came to terms or something you got some type of closure that's what that's the word i was looking for you guys got some closure with that six of cups um so now looking at this emperor card we have this emperor card coming in here and this is part of the reason why i don't feel like there's like a closure in the sense of where it's just because I say closure. You guys are not ending it with this, right? I say closure in terms of like the end of a chapter rather than, rather than the end of a book is what I'm getting with this Emperor card because I feel you, you're coming in this from a very empowered place. So let's see. Yeah, and your heart is opening up. Yeah. So the clarifiers that I pulled for you for this Emperor card, Aries, we have the Lover's card, the Queen of Swords, the other half, come on now, Aries, and then the Ace of Cups. So you guys are definitely, this is why I was, this is exactly what I was feeling, whereas like something that you truly cared about, and that's why that Six of Cups is there, Aries, um, the Death card coming in is where it's just like, finally, like your mind, your anxiety is quieting around something you no longer are stressing about it anymore right and that's why you no longer are stressed about it so then you can become more of a, your own you can claim more of your own power essentially is what i'm trying to say uh aries and so seeing with this ace of cups you're opening up more queen of swords so the, the, yeah this is such a 
the lover's card. Like, can we just take a moment to appreciate how right beforehand, Aries, I was saying how we could say this is the situation or this is the person. And then the queen of swords comes in and the lover's card comes in. Like, obviously it doesn't have to be romantic and I'm really not getting a sense that it's romantic for most of you guys. I mean, I guess it easily could read that way. At this point, this is just intuitive, Aries. Um, Ace of Cups, you really could easily read this as love, to be honest. But I don't really get that in that way. I get this more so from a way of like... <sighs> judgment card i get this more so in a way of like collaborative energy like you guys do something with each other um because it's like i see you guys taking action together um i want to oh, and i let me i guess i can explain this further why i feel this way is because with these two cards coming in the king and the queen being swords this is a key part component for me aries because i see this as um this lets me know you guys are in the same field. And now, of course, we have to take in the intuitive nature of things because it's like any other tarot reader probably, or if you're just reading tarot itself, you would probably just see this as being like old love, like old lover, like old flame thing, very much so like, you know, it'd be very much so the moment where someone would want to say Aries, like, oh, twin flames, soulmate, whatever. But with this, it lets me, I see this as a dynamic. You guys are in the same field. This chariot card and the judgment card lets me more so know it's about business as well as the emperor card. This is all about like business. We're not seeing like a um, more like, if we had like a cups suit, if one of the uh, characters, the archetypes here were cups, like a queen of cups instead of like the queen of swords or just differing suits. If they just were in the same suit, then I'd be like, oh, okay, like um, it would be something else. But I get, I feel like those cards were brought up in such a way where it's just emphasizing Aries. Um, you guys are just like in the same field. And so somehow it just provides some sense of freedom for you to just like really no longer stress about that side of things when it comes to like your work, I guess, right? Or whatever that is. I mean, maybe like just your family, you don't have to stress about your family dynamic anymore. So there's just like a sense of relief. Um, there's no more conflict they have to worry about and sitting in your head. So let's get into this Four of Cups now, Aries. This Four of Cups here. Now this is where um, we get into the interesting part because clarifying is coming out already, honey. No. I'm pulling, don't mind me. Um, so this is the interesting part. This is the interesting part of this section of the reading, Aries, because with this Four of Cups, I'm just like, okay, what's going on here, <laughs> All right? Is this like daydreaming energy? Is this like, what are you missing, Aries? Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Now, um, Aries, I don't know if you guys are like wanting something sooner. Or like, if you guys are not, um, how would I put this, Aries? This is like, let's just say you're planting a garden. You have a strawberry garden. Um, I'm only thinking this because it's about to be strawberry season where I'm at, Aries. Um, you have like a strawberry garden, um, but then at some point you just bother, you stop looking at it. You stop checking in on the, those plants because they weren't grow growing strawberries quick enough for you. Now it's kind of seeming like you're not realizing that these strawberries are just growing and thriving. And because of that, you're not realizing it. You're not taking up at those, you're not grabbing up at those, you're not harvesting those strawberries. You're not, um, so I use the, this analogy, Aries, in the sense of where it's just like, let's say it's speaking about the same person, right? Let's say it's speaking about this person in the spread. Um, I see this as where it's just like, okay, maybe you guys have like made amends or like being able to be on good terms, no longer stressing about it anymore, Aries, but there's something more that you could lean into more, uh, lean into with this. There's some more communication that could be had, Page of Swords. Um, it doesn't feel like, like, yeah, you're closing the chapter in the, on this book, Aries, and continuing to the next chapter but I can't, I can't help but feel like there's a sense that you guys are not quite still on the same chapter it's almost just like someone isn't quite ready to i don't know it's such an interesting message and then we have the temperance card and i feel like this might clear it up for us so let's pull some clarifiers for this temperance see what's going on here 
Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Tower card. Okay, Aries. So I'm seeing this as a situation where it's just like, you're ready to move on perhaps, right? You're ready to move on from like whatever that situation was with this person or the scenario, right? You're ready to just keep it moving. But you don't, there's almost like this sense of where you're not sure if it's too late. Almost, you're not sure if it's too late to like do some type of like continue like to do like a project with them. You, I don't know, Aries. It's almost like you're kind of. Uh, hmm. It's almost like you're convincing yourself. It's just like oh, they don't like. Let's just say like oh, they don't want me anymore, and that's and it's like you're making yourself at peace with the fact that they don't want you anymore, Aries, and so. Then you're just like, oh, okay, like you go at it with that narrative without you even trying to uh, pursue them to have anything more again. Be like, oh, well, you know how I used to be just like really close, like friends or whatever, something like that. But you just don't bother reaching out to them anymore. And there is just like this push to be like waited out a little bit more. Aries, there is for some of you guys like this sense of where it's like you guys are convincing yourself to wash your hands clean of something because it's just like, ah, whatever, it's not even worth me trying. And then because of that, you don't try. And I feel like you guys end up regretting that. I don't know. Very interesting message, Aries. Um, but <laughs> that's such a long message for that. Let's wrap this up, Aries. Let's see what's going on. Um, I mean, we already did get into the social stuff, right, Aries? So let's actually just get into some... Um, let's get into the blessings. What blessings can Aries expect this week? Now, when I say blessings, Aries, right? It doesn't mean immediately on X day that you're going to be receiving this opportunity. This could just, this is all just energy, honey. We're all, we're just tapping into what's in the works. What is the, what are the blessings that are in the works for Aries? That's how we should put it from now on. So the blessing in the works for you guys is the five of cups, eight of cups, king of swords. So that is the blessing. This is kind of just a repetitive message from before, Aries, because it's just like the Five of Wands is the conflict card. Eight of Cups is moving on, right? And the King of Swords, I mean, this is like spirit literally saying, she's like, honey. <laughs> so dare I challenge you, Aries, to um, there's something that you guys are like going to be rekindling, reconnecting with, working out with in some way. And there's something more that you guys could be doing. There's like something more that um, that could be talked about, something more that could be like fleshed out. Um, very interesting. I don't know. It's almost just like you guys are, Aries, are not considering something. There's something more that you could consider when it comes to this connection. And um, Four of Swords, King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Chariot card following you. This is a very interesting message, Aries. Y'all's reading is really... It's like, Aries, you guys have healed from this. You guys are coming to terms with things. But it's like, you're no longer taking movement towards this. And Spirit's really trying to be like, no, put more energy into something. That's the thing. That's what this message is all about, where it's just like, hey... There's this thing from the past that you used to hold really intimately. You guys could work this out. Um, you could, guys, you guys could not only work this out and be back on speaking terms, but you guys could actually work together. You guys could actually do something more um, with one another. You guys could actually, there's like something there. There's something that's just untapped. There's some type of um, something more that could just be uncovered when it comes to like a situation. Now I know Aries this entire time I've been speaking in terms of a person. Um, I do feel pretty strongly in that, but um, this could easily still be speaking in terms of a narrative of like, <sighs> no, honestly, Aries, I'm going to be honest. I do feel like it's just like, I'm not even going to try to like consider any other narrative. I feel like this is just, which is fine if it doesn't resonate Aries for all of you guys. I feel like this, this reading in specific is meant for the Aries that it is resonating for someone with the person because I don't feel necessarily drawn to like a scenario, but it's also hard for me. It's not my place to say either because these are not my cards, <laughs> right? Aries. So, um, yeah, really good reading. Ah, uh, Aries, let's just do an animal Oracle card as well before you close out your reading, just because I want to connect with you guys a little bit longer. Um, yeah, really interesting reading though, Aries. Definitely let me know in the comments below, like what's up with this? Like, what is this talking about? What is the tea here, Aries? Y'all's reading really, 
I had like a different format that I was planning on doing for y'all's reading and then just kind of took its own way. These cards are just flying everywhere, darling. Flying everywhere. We get two animal cards for you. We have the Swan Spirit, time to deep dive number six. Write that down for numerology. Um, and then the Dove Spirit, be at peace, number 21, equaling to three Aries. So be at peace and time to deep dive. So this is essentially what I was saying before as well. It's like you're finding some peace with this connection, but there's more that you can dive into this, right? Whatever it is that you're finding peace with, there's a little bit more that you can like dive into. Don't just, don't just like close the next, like don't close this chapter of the book and just assume that there's nothing more that you can take from it or assume that there's like, that the story isn't continuing. Does that make sense, Aries? I hope it does. <laughs> I hope this somehow makes sense to y'all. It's very hard for me to gauge this just because I don't know in a generating, I have no idea what this is even in reference to, but um, I really did enjoy doing this, Aries. So uh, thank you so much for allowing me to do this tarot reading for you, Aries. If you did enjoy this reading, be sure to give me a like and subscribe, Aries, as well as let me know in the comments below which cards did. Um, and then also be sure, Aries, to share my tarot reading videos with a friend that you think might be into my videos. But until next time, Aries, I love you so much. Bye.